What does boat stand for? What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Project Complete. Today I'm going to be working on this trim tilt system. So today's video is all about helping you save a little bit of money on your boat expenses. This boat in particular behind me is a 1978 Glastron Tri-Hole with a two-stroke four-cylinder carbureted motor. This boat was actually given to me by my grandpa who passed away a couple years, but he lived in Arizona and it was always garaged and it was always in dry heat. So that's just one of the reasons why it's in such good condition. But I've been having a problem with automatic trim tilt system. It's been kind of gurgling and it felt like there was air in the system. And so I went under there to take a look and you could see that uh, the O-rings were actually leaking. So I've actually replaced the O-rings with the full seal kit, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. But this video isn't actually about replacing the seals. It's more about how to refill the trim tilt fluid. So in an effort to save you a little bit of money, I'm gonna show you how I like to do this. The only thing you'll actually need for this process is a large head screwdriver, your trim and tilt hydraulic fluid, which is personally what I like to use. Some people like to use ATF fluid or automatic transmission fluid, but you should use whatever's already in there if you're just refilling. My system in particular is completely empty because I did the seals, so I'm gonna replace it with power trim and tilt hydraulic fluid. But the only thing you'll need is those two bottles, the screwdriver and a little manual pump, the same one I use for my lower gear oil and some sort of drain pan. So this is the kit right here. It's a genuine um, Everu Johnson gasket kit. Uh, here's the number for you if you're looking for that one. If you're wondering how to get these little caps off, it looks something like this. Placed on top of here like this. There's a, actually a special tool. I'll see if I can leave the uh, link for that below as well. Basically fits three little prongs and kind of just fits right in there. And you take a breaker bar or a ratchet or something and you can turn it. Uh, a few good turns with this, you should be able to get the rest by hand as long as it's not all corroded or rusted over or anything like that. So um, this tool is it's specific to it. So if you plan on replacing these trim and tilt seals, you'll need one of these. So a quick tip for you guys, if your motor's ever stuck in an up or down position, there's a little manual release um, valve, which is actually located right on the side over here. It's a flathead screwdriver. Um, you'll just turn it to loosen it counterclockwise, you loosen it, and then you should be able to manually raise and lower the motor. So because this trim tilt system is actually in the process of being serviced by me, um, you can see all the pistons are out. I've replaced all the O-rings, and this is your actually reservoir fill screw right here. Not all of them are the same, some of them are in different spots, so it might be worth looking them up online and trying to find the manual as far as where the fill screw is, but um, this trim tilt system seems to be pretty common. So, but this is your fill and this is your manual release over here. So now that I have the piston sleeves back in, I'm going to fill up these reservoirs just as much as possible. If you want to be real accurate, you could take something like a level and try and get this piston right here about as plumb as possible. It does matter whether or not this reservoir is plumb, but you know, a little bit out either way is all right. So I've got my new piston and O-ring seals complete. I'm just gonna insert this just like that. And you will meet a little bit of resistance because there's pressure in the system, so. I can go ahead and take my little tool right here and crank them down.
So now it's time to fill. I got my little manual pump right here, which I'll leave in the description for you. And my trim tilt power fluid. I got a couple bottles of this. And then we wanna make sure we close our manual release if you've opened that for some reason. And you wanna try and take as big of a screwdriver as possible. Mine is already out, so um, you know a regular screwdriver will work. So first we're gonna break this loose which it already is. Just be careful not stripping yours. And I just lost the screw in there. So the next step is take your bottle. Now this little manual pump has threads on it for the lower trim, uh, the lower gear unit. So I don't want to screw it in this thread because I don't want to pressurize the system. I just want to get it in there. So I'm just going to kind of hold it there and you know it's full the first time when it starts to spill at the bottom. So that's your level indicator. So that's how you know it's coming out. Okay, so the pin's back in and this reservoir is filled to the top for the very first time. So essentially what we're gonna do is using the hydraulic trim button, we're gonna lower the motor wait for a couple minutes, let some air start bleeding out into this reservoir. And then we're gonna raise the motor and then refill up to the top line. And we're gonna repeat that process several times. So there are two reasons how you know it's filled. One is the sound. You can hear it, it'll be a smooth pump sound versus kind of like a gurgling. That gurgling is air that's still in the system. So as soon as you keep repeating this process and you no longer hear that sound, and the second thing is you can't fill it up anymore. So basically what happens is it goes down, it lets more oil into the pistons and it kind of circulates the system. So once you no longer can fill the reservoir, that's how you know all of these pumps and pistons have been filled completely and all the air is now in the reservoir. That's why you don't put the screw back in. So you leave the screw out so the air can escape as you're raising and lowering the motor. You're not trying to pressurize the system. You're trying to let the air out. And if you put the screw back in, the air has nowhere to go and it just stays in the system. So now let's raise and lower the motor and I'll show you what it sounds and looks like. So now that the engine sounds pretty good and you hear pretty much no more gurgling, we put, make sure we top it off and put our reservoir screw back in. You don't need a lot of torque to do this because there's an O-ring on this. So I really appreciate you guys for checking out this video and taking the time to watch it. If you can, please hit that subscribe button. We are a small little channel and it really helps us grow. Also down below right here, there's my Instagram. So if you guys want to give us a follow on Instagram and get updates before the actual video comes out and some other neat things that I don't always film, that would be very helpful too as well. Also give it a thumbs up for me. And if you guys have any comments or any questions, feel free to put them down in the comment section. I'll try and answer them for you. But thank you guys for watching.